Color a Dinosaur. When you hear the title, the first thing that probably comes to mind is, do you do anything besides color dinosaurs? Well, nope. All you do is color dinosaurs. The title screen right here is pretty much the entire game. You color a dinosaur using a shitty selection of colors and patterns, and that's it. Wow, that was a pretty short review, wasn't it? Well, let's see if I can break this game down a little bit more. Although with the depth this game has, this will be like trying to break down a microscopic crumb. The first screen gives you a choice of 16 cartoony dinosaurs to color. After making your selection, you get the drawing screen. Your color choices are on the left and can be cycled through by pressing the B button. And you get a pencil tool to select the area you want to fill. Now, if you press A at the select screen, you'll use the D-pad to scroll the pencil by each area. And if you press B to select your dino, you can move the pencil around freely. So there are 10 color options, but why is it that 3 of them are actually colors and 7 of them are just shitty patterns recycled from 80's black and white computer paint programs? And it's so nice to have white as an option too, since everything already starts out in white and it's really useful. Okay, let's give this guy some light blue for the body. Aw oh man, these programmers were lazy. Could they not have made the colors fill instantaneously? Man, I don't know what to use for colors, these choices suck. Well, if you press select, you can change the color palette. There are eight different palettes, but it's really more like four, with an option to have some of the colors blinking. Yeah, that's real easy on the eyes. And despite the fact that you can change colors, you can only use one palette at a time. So if you use orange here, the top color, and you press select to change palettes, everything that's orange gets replaced by whatever the top color is. And every single palette is riddled with three whole colors and seven retarded looking patterns. When coloring your dinosaur, you're probably going to feel the need to use one of these patterns so it doesn't look so monotonous. But look how stupid that looks. No matter what combination of colors you use, your dinosaur is going to look like shit every time. Another thing that really sucks is that there's no way to save your work. Just look at what you've created and say goodbye to it within 5 seconds. Now this game is supposed to be essentially a coloring book for little kids, only in this coloring book, you get the shittiest box of crayons of all time at your disposal. And once you're done coloring, you have to rip the page out of the book and throw it away. Not to mention the fact that you can only color dinosaurs. Why not add some other animals to color too? Why does it have to be just dinosaurs? I guess variety wasn't on the minds of the game designers. And here's the entire list of them. All nine people that worked on this game. And that, my friends, is everything that Color a Dinosaur has to offer. I know that it's for little kids but this game suffers from a major lack of features. If you want your kids to color, please go out and buy an actual coloring book and a box of crayons. Not only is it a lot more fun, but you're not limited to a shitty color selection and basic rules like staying in the lines. Plus it's a lot cheaper. And if you want your preschooler to try out video games, stay away from this one. Even Atari 2600 games like Big Bird's Egg Catch and Cookie Monster Munch were much more playable and enjoyable and had a lot more to it, and this was on an inferior console. Color Red Dinosaur came out in the twilight years of the NES, and it may be the worst game in the entire NES library. I can't really think of any that are much worse than this. So that's pretty much it. See you next time.